Hello, thanks so much for being a PEP supporter and for joining us on this evening of appreciation. My name is Alana Rasperquist and I'm the operations coordinator at PEPS. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make a cocktail using a homemade simple syrup. So I'm going to show off first the ingredients and then we're going to walk through how to make it. So why don't you come on over here. What we've got is three strips of orange peel, orange zest. We've got um, three or four uh, sprigs of thyme. We've got a cup of white sugar, a cup of water. We have our Woodford Reserve and then our Angostura aromatic bitters. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our one-to-one -one mixture of water. Turn on the oven. I usually do it like a medium, uh, medium high. And in our small saucepan, we're going to add the sugar in. We're going to start mixing it in a little bit. So I've got a little bit of mix going on. I'm going to go ahead and pop in that thyme. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop in the orange peel, uh, the orange zest. Now, the second part of this, and one thing that we can start doing, is building our cocktail. Um, you'll note that I've chosen Woodford Reserves. You can really use any kind of bourbon or whiskey or rye. My favorite type of old-fashioned is with a rye. Um, I also have uh, I've been experimenting with the Old Log Cabin as well in this type of drink. The straight bourbon whiskey or the rye make really good old fashions. Um, so... I don't have a shaker, but I have found that using a self-sealing mason jar, such as this, can work just as well. So I just, I go ahead and seal it, shake it. And one of the nice things about a simple syrup like this is you can really use it in a lot of different applications, uh, drink applications most specifically, but having a simple syrup on hand that you've made from scratch can be a really uh, nice thing. And so as I'm stirring this too, I'm just kind of Gently hitting up the orange peel to kind of uh, extract some of the oils, rather, out and just kind of rubbing it along the bottom. And then I'm just kind of um, hitting that time with a little bit of uh, pestering as well. Um, I'll leave that sit for a few minutes more. I'm going to go ahead and get the ice ready for it. I'm going to be making enough for two so I can share it with my camera person. Um, <laughs> I'm also getting two highball glasses that we're gonna put some ice in as well. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our simple syrup. One of the things you'll notice is that it's really dissolved really well, and so this looks really bright. Hopefully the um, pestering that I'm doing to the herbs is doing a nice job of releasing the oils and the herbs, and the same for the oils that are in the orange zest. So once, once we make this, we're only gonna use a tablespoon of this per drink that we make. So the recipe calls for a two ounce pour of your bourbon, a tablespoon of your simple syrup, a dash of bitters, and ice cubes. I'm gonna lower the temperature down to one so that we're not at a boil, we're at a simmer. And really, this is pretty close to done um, in terms of what we're looking for. So you can see, it just looks really, really pretty. I think. So what we're going to do now, because it's basically done, is we're going to come over here to our strainer, which is, as you can see, quite the contraption, uh, and we're just going to pour it through. And this is just basically to have it so that we only have our sugar water. So now we've filtered out the orange zest rind peel and the thyme, and we've got our simple syrup. So now our uh, simple syrup is nice and cool. Um, and I am not a measurer of whiskey. I do it by count. So we're going to do a two ounce pour for each person. So a total of four ounce. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and a little more. And then we are going to do two tablespoons each of the simple syrup. Sorry, two tablespoons total of the simple syrup. Uh, tasting, having tasted the simple syrup, I'm just gonna stick with the Angostura and just do two dashes. You wanna shake for about 20 seconds. Feels about right. And then as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna use in our makeshift shaker, 
we're just gonna pop a little get a good shot of that. We can just pour one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and a little bit more. And a little bit more. And I'm gonna pass off the drink. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try that again. Cheers. There we go.